Yo, what's up guys? I am starting my blitz rating climb and I'm gonna go to 2000 ELO. I'll start with 5-0 games, so 5 minutes per player with 0 increment. I might switch it to 3-0 later, I'm gonna see about that. Uh, also, blitz games are generally faster than rapids, so if I do not explain my moves during the game, I'm probably gonna cover it in the analysis section and if I don't, then feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm gonna be responding to all of them. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the video. Let's hop into a game. So I'm gonna go minus 100 plus 100 in rating. Okay, 18, 13. Let's see what he plays. Okay, <laughs> I was <laughs> I was thinking he was about to abort the game. Okay, we get the standard. Oh, he takes. Wow, he goes for this one. Mm, what's the what's the line? I think it's knight here and then and then. Uh, okay, go back. Uh, or do I go to, I guess I'm gonna go here, if push I go forward, because he was attacking my rook, and if takes I just take with the bishop. So this is one annoying line that I don't like playing against, because it messes up my, my structure, but it's apparently better for black if you know what which moves to make but I don't so so it's gonna be a problem now I don't know what he's thinking about because he has to take otherwise I'm just gonna recapture with the knight okay take with the bishop I don't want to trade queens I'm gonna go bishop h bishop g7 um, and then just castle. Okay. Now I do have some discoveries. Mm. This one he takes, I don't mind that. Can also, also maybe go 96, but do I want my knight on e6? I'm not sure. Let's not get behind on time. I'm gonna go rook b1, I mean rook b8. Wow, queen side, okay. Okay, dude. So obviously I have to go here he's gonna take the pawn and then i go i mean he he's threatening to take it so i'm gonna go here actually he can win a pawn by just trading everything and then taking here Uh, if he takes, I move out. I move out of the way. Yeah. I'm also gonna play f5 just to open up this bishop, and I'm actually gonna give away this bishop if he gives me the opportunity to do so. I'm gonna go queen. Wait, but then he can take. I don't mind that he can take. The problem is that he can. Uh, that he can. He's attacking my knight there. Maybe queen b7. 
So obviously now I'm threatening the checkmate. He has to probably go up. Maybe I push. Bishop here. Maybe knight. Maybe knight. Uh, knight a6. Okay, dude. <laughs> Should I write to him something? Don't be greedy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now he wants a rematch. I'm gonna actually say it. Don't be greedy. <laughs> okay, now let's look at the uh, let's look at the game review. <laughs> K89, okay, wow. I mean, yeah, 89. Um, okay, this is correct. Yeah, okay, this is the best, nice. And then f6, and then bishop takes. Okay, so this was my first inaccuracy, let's say. E5. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't aware of this plan. E5. But bishop g7 is still the third move. Okay. Now let's let's first look at the game and then the opening. Okay, so this was yeah just a total mistake. Knight e6, okay. Knight e6, queen back, he wants to trade or something. Queen c7. If he now castles queen side, rook a d8. I would definitely play rook f d8 so I can place this rook on the b file. c5 is a weird move. Let's say he would go. Actually, what am I saying? I said I'm gonna first look at the game and then at the opening. Okay, yeah, so this was a mistake. This was the best move. The point is if you go here, then you cannot go f6 later. Okay, but he's still winning apparently. Yeah, he can just win a pawn. Take, 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 take. And I'm just down a pawn with, for no compensation. But he chose to, to greed. He chose to take all of my pawns. And this is a blunder. Yeah. Yeah, b3. And then I was about to go f5. Bishop d4. Knight a6, yeah, it's one of the best moves. Okay, and we would just play this out. So now let's look at the, the opening, actually. So this is a line that you have to know if you play the accelerated dragon. If they take and do this, move the knight to c7, not to b6. You cannot take here because he takes the rook, so you go f6. You take with the bishop and then you go f you go e5 apparently. Um, let's say he goes queen d1. Let's say he goes here. What about queen d1? Okay, so it's the same moves. So you go knight e6 and then you go bishop g7 let's say. And then you castle, so you play this setup. And your bishop is just supporting the pawns. I guess you're gonna later open the bishop up. He goes c5, but nobody's gonna go c5. They're probably gonna go like b3 or something. You go f5, you're threatening e4. Let's say he goes here. You go e4, he goes back. You go bishop d4 is a weird move. Let's say, oh, so you just advance, okay. Okay, so that's the point. So you have to go e5, otherwise you're just, you're just worse. Okay, so that's, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time.